<laughs> welcome everyone who's new. Welcome everyone who's returning. Hello, my name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren. And on my channel, I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How do I do that? Um, I am an integrative nutritionist. Um, I have my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and education. So I specialize in gut health, thyroid health, hormonal balancing, stress and weight management. So I offer you guys nutrition and self-care solutions to help heal the physical body. From an emotional and spiritual standpoint, I'm a natural born psychic medium. Um, so I help you guys connect with your past loved ones and your spirit guides to deliver messages only of healing and love and light. I'm also a Reiki practitioner, so I help clear out any energetic blocks that you may be experiencing, maybe from inner child um, trauma, past life trauma, and cutting out any unhealthy attachments you may have. Um, and I'm also clearly a tarot reader, all right? So if y'all like that, hang out. We have a great time every morning. We also have a daily like goal of hitting 30K likes. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live as much as you can. We usually hit the goal in about 10 minutes. Um, we've been a little slow lately, so guys, let's do it. Tap, tap, tap. All right, y'all are part of the team now. But every morning I do a daily energy check-in through the tarot. So let me know who is ready for the daily energy check-in. Tell me in the comments, guys. Hey, Darren, good morning. Tell me in the comments. I love interaction, guys. I love interaction. I would also appreciate if you are loving my vibe, please give me a follow on TikTok as well as Instagram, okay? The spelling is the same. I appreciate the support. Let's do it. So God's first universe, divine creator of all things. What do we need to know about today? May 4th. What do we need to know about today? The moon is still in Gemini, you guys. Okay. Um, so there may be um, some conversations that may come up, especially with um, the, sun, the sun conjuncting Uranus later on tonight. Um, so maybe like some unexpected people reaching out or just unexpected events and surprises that may happen today, but later on in the day, because that conjunction is not happening till later. Um, the moon in Gemini is also trining, what is it? Saturn in Aquarius. So today is a really good day for problem solving. So if you want to sit down, if something has been bothering you, if you're experiencing any problems, challenges, obstacles, today would be the day to sit down and really think through it with that nice aspect with the moon trining Saturn in Aquarius, okay? Now, we also have the moon in Gemini squaring off with Neptune in Pisces. So make sure you gather all the facts about something before moving forward with an idea, with an action, okay? Today is not the day to leap before you look, all right? Um, but however, you may find that someone close to you may come to you with a problem, but today is the day to be the shoulder to cry on, you know, the ear to listen to, but not really necessarily to give advice because you might be a little too idealistic today with Neptune and Pisces. All right. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, if you like the astrology, um, if you like when I talk about it to tell you guys how to work with the energy, um, cause I don't want to do what you don't like. <clears throat> Don't want to do what you don't like. Let me know if you guys like the astrology. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, guys, and I'm going to keep delivering the astrology. If you like it, I'm going to deliver it. Um, but just so you guys know really quick, um, would you, I have a question. Would you guys find it helpful if you had weekly in-depth astrology updates? So you know, so you knew how to work with the energy, like every week, emotionally with regard to your health and wellness, like how the transits affect your body, your energy levels. Let me know if you guys would find that helpful. Let me know. Like very in depth, like what I just did is kind of like a little snippet of what I'm talking about. Okay. So what I will say is, what I will say is, if you are interested in that, please check out the Holistic Wellness Soul Family. Okay. The link is in my TikTok bio. It is a private sacred space for my spiritual community. Okay. Where I literally talk about 
the weekly astrology. I give you guys journal prompts. I give you nutrition advice. Um, I walk you through the transits and how it affects your energy throughout like each day of the week. Um, so you'll like need a notebook <laughs> to write down everything. But the link is in my bio if you guys want to join. Um, plus you get to share your story, your healing journey with other people, with your soul family. So it's a pretty cool group that I put together. But anyway, let's see what today has in store. And guys, we have a daily like goal of hitting 30K likes. Keep tapping the screen, guys. Why are we slowing down? Let's go. Let's go. We have Venus and Aries now. Y'all should feel more energized. Let's do it. It's got to be the sun and Taurus. The sun and Taurus is like... All right, but let's do it. Uh, God, source, universe, divine, creative all things. What do we need to know about today? What the heck do we need to know about today? Amanda, no, you don't have to sign up again. All right, so we have the five of swords reversed. The wheel of fortune. And the queen of pentacles. With the page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. A lot of pentacle energy here. Um, let me know if anyone is uh, concerned about their finances or maybe their career path. Um, finances, career path, um, or like uh, the, re uh, the relationship you have to your path in life is what I'm kind of picking up on. Okay. The page of pentacles to me is saying you are setting goals around your finances, your career path, but it's like a redirect. It's like a redirect. Okay. You guys walked away from something that was a toxic environment, toxic person, toxic situation that was full of competition, like, um, egotistical people, um, people who would fight just to fight or a person. Okay. To me, the five of swords, but you have successfully walked away from it, or you are successfully walking away from it, separating yourself from it. Okay. Because you knew you deserved better. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. This is Eclipse energy. Maybe this was an abrupt leaving. Okay, maybe um, you left the job abruptly. Maybe you left the relationship abruptly or it ended abruptly. Just take it as it resonates. But you knew that it wasn't part of your destiny. It's not part of your fate. You were not meant to do or be in that position, be in that situation, be in that energy. Okay, why? Because you deserve more than that. You're like, I am the fucking queen of pentacles. Okay, this bitch, she knows what she's worth. Okay, she knows her value. And she has everything in balance. Her money, her career, her family, her self-care. You guys know that your destiny is to have it all without the stress. You know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. Your destiny, your fate is to have it all in balance without the stress that you've had. I feel like this five of swords is saying, fuck stress. I am destined for peace. That needs to be on a fucking t-shirt. Fuck stress. I'm destined for peace. I'm writing that down. Hold on. Hold on a second. That is just too good not to write down. Hold up. Wait a minute. Fuck stress. I deserve peace. All right. But you guys are in the beginning stages, right? Page of Pentacles. Maybe you're setting goals. Maybe you're learning about a new career, a new way of being. Maybe you're setting financial goals. Whatever it is, guys, you're on the right path. Um, let me know if anyone has been confused about their path um, or feeling like they're not on the right path. Because I feel like there's some confusion, like some crossroad energy here. Um, like you're, you're starting to become more confident in what you're doing and the direction you're going. But this is a big change for you guys, okay? Which, and it's totally normal to be afraid, confused, conflicted. Um, that's all part of the journey. If you weren't questioning and you were, you would be remaining the same, beloved. So we have the King of Cups. So there could be a, um, a mentor coming in for some of you. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or you guys are prioritizing your peace. Even though things are going on in your environment, Prioritize your peace. What did I say? The sun is conjuncting um, Uranus later this afternoon. So even if there is disruption in your environment, do not allow it to disrupt your inner peace. Okay. 
Nine of Cups. Okay, you guys. There's a wish fulfillment coming in today. A wish fulfillment. Now, the Nine of Cups with the King of Cups, uh, this is something that emotionally is going to help you feel tranquil, peaceful. Something that you has been bothering you. Let me know in the comments what has been bothering you guys. What is like the big hot button issue that's been bothering you lately? Whatever has been disrupting your peace and your environment, that shit is leveling out today. That shit is leveling out today. Three of cups in the reverse. And then the chariot. Yeah. It, so with the chariot, you guys, again, just more confirmation that the chariot is a card of moving on from uh, obstacles, challenges. It is a card of overcoming challenge. Again, more confirmation that you guys are moving away from what you've known. So what I mean, what I mean about regarding what you've known, moving away from the challenges that you've been like living in currently. Okay. The challenge, the challenges that you have been living in currently, you are, look how fast that the, the horses are moving. Okay. Horses for some reason could be relevant to you guys. I don't know if a horse is your spirit totem, your spirit animal, or you just really love horses, or I would look up the spiritual meaning of horse. There's something about that for you guys. Animal symbolism is big for some of you, maybe crows or ravens. Um, ravens are a symbol of adaptability. So I feel like you guys have been maneuvering maneuvering a lot, right? Let me know if you guys have been maneuvering through these challenges, because I feel like even though like the past couple months have been a little difficult, you have maneuvered, you have adapted. Okay. You kept going beloved. You learn more from your failures than you do from your successes. Okay. That is the, the channeled message I got this morning. You learn more from your failures rather than your successes. All right. So I feel like you guys are, are also, there's something here about letting go of people that do not celebrate you. It's almost like you're finally releasing the people that disrupt your life, that disrupt your inner peace. It could be people. It could be a group of people. It could be a person. Um, also, you guys aren't looking for like external sources of happiness. That's what I'm getting. It's almost like a wish fulfillment for you guys is I just want to find happiness within myself. I want to move on from seeking happiness from outside things, from money, from other people, from the job, like whatever internal happiness. Like I, I oh, wow. Okay. This is, this is a channeled message, guys, big time, big energy coming in from your guides right now. You are your only source of happiness. Happiness only comes from within, period, dot, end of story. I'm getting preachy. I haven't gotten preachy in a very long time. You are prioritizing the internal balance, the internal stability, and anyone or anything that disrupts that, you are running away from, not even moving away from, you are running away from. And before beloved, you were scared shitless to let go of these people, of these energies, of this situation, because you thought you deserved to be there. You didn't realize how much more you deserved, how much more valuable you are. You now see your value. You deserve so much more than what you were given. And now you understand that only you can give yourself what you deserve. Only hear me when I say this, only you can give yourself what you deserve. No one else can give it to you because no one else sets your value. Nobody, only you do that. So when you have people in your life that undervalue you, it is because beloved, you undervalue yourself, but you guys are moving out of that. You guys are moving out of that big fucking time, big time. 
let me know in the comments, guys. I value myself. I value myself. I determine, actually, I determine my value. I am the only one who determines my worthiness, my value, period. period. There isn't room for anything else. King of Wands, oh my God, you guys are leveling, leveling up. We got two kings here. Um, again, I feel like there's like mentorship here, mentorship or some sort of um, uh, guidance from someone who is very much in their masculine, could be male or female, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be Aries, Leo, Sag, or this is saying, because you guys are finally prioritizing your inner peace, the vision of your future is clear and you're going after it because you don't have the noise. You don't have the noise anymore. I'm a badass bitch. I love that. Okay. We'll take it. The moon. Okay. The moon inverted with the king of wands. Okay. So there's some hesitancy moving forward with this, um, this plan you have, this plan of action you have with regard to like a passion project, a relationship, something that you're, you're, that fires you up, but beloved six of wands, success is guaranteed. The tower, there's the Uranus, the tower, um, is represented by Uranus. Okay. The planet of the unexpected of surprises. Okay. My love, there is something really unexpected that you do not see coming in that is going to prove to you today. This is the reading is for today. Six of Wands. Your idea, your career, your like your passion is going to be successful. Do not let fear override that. Do not let fear override that. Period. Dot. End of story. I that. You guys, I like, literally, please confirm in the comments. Tell me in the comments, guys, if you heard me. Did I not say um, the sun was conjuncting Uranus today? Unexpected surprises. And a conjunction, you guys, is a harmonious aspect. Okay? What does that mean? A conjunction means that the, the, um, the planets in the conjunction, their energy is amplified. The sun is the self. Uranus, the unexpected. Okay? So there's, a, there's some harmonious wish fulfillment coming in with regard to you personally. And the sun is in Taurus, beloved. Taurus themes, relationships, money, career. So unexpected surprise regarding your money, your career, your relationships, beloved. Boom. Okay. Can't make this shit up. The tarot aligns with the astrology. You cannot, you cannot make this shit up, dude. You cannot make this shit up. Knight of Swords, someone or some message coming through fast, okay? Knight of Swords. Um, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the Knight of Swords can just represent a messenger or a message. Oh my God, guys, we hit 30K. Let's go for 50. Fuck it. Let's go for 50, guys. We got this. We got this, guys. We're on a freaking roll. I can't make this up, you guys. Five of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Swords message coming in regarding your, your financial situation becoming better. Knight of Wands, this, okay, if we're, let me talk money first. Okay, let's talk a little money, all right? Knight of Swords messenger coming in regarding healing um, or betterment to your financial situation, especially if you're in a difficult financial spot. Now, this could be debt. This could just be more money with regard to a project, a career, a promotion of some sort, or unexpected money. So the Knight of Wands represents like surprise money coming in or some surprise support. Okay. Um, now this could also be on a relationship front. I'm going to hit Taurus themes because sun, the sun is in Taurus right now. This could be a message from someone who sees your value now. Okay. And, uh, wants to talk to you about it. Okay. This could have been someone that, um, rejected you or made you feel rejected, maybe triggered abandonment issues. Okay. Judgment. This is, this is an X. This is an X or someone from the past. Seven of swords could have been someone who lied to you, who manipulated you, um, took advantage, took advantage. So we've got, um, heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Um, we, we don't have too much, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but everyone is represented here. Seven of swords though, you guys, 
Okay. Um, judgment. You're going through a spiritual awakening or rebirth. If someone is coming back around from the past, whether it's a family member, friend, or a romantic partner, it would be someone who made you feel rejected or abandoned. Could be ghosted as well. Okay. Re so the judgment card is saying, leave them behind, thank them for the lesson and move on. Okay. Because I feel like you guys are realizing this person, this situation, this energy was not meant for you. They are not part of your destiny or your fate. Okay. Seven of swords. Remember what they did. Okay. Actions speak louder than words. Observe what they do, not what they say. Big time. Um, now a lot of you, for others of you, this, the judgment card. Okay. Some of you with regard to career or your life path, some of you are, are, are um, investing in your spiritual awakening. Okay. Um, what do I mean by that? Like, um, joining like a, a class or a course um, a group maybe, uh, but investing financially in your, in your spiritual awakening in the new areas of spirituality or areas of interest that, that, um, you want to get more into. Okay. Thor is clearly my puppy is clearly confirming that clearly confirming that. Let me, let me know what areas of spirituality, let me know what areas of spirituality you guys are getting into again. To me, like, this is very much like, for example, my holistic, Thor, stop. Um, my holistic wellness soul family or tarot school. Aw, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, um, by the way, guys, this is the last week to join tarot school. So if anyone was interested in joining the holistic or tarot school, today would be the day. So let's see what else. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Go for ya. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Let's clarify that though, because we're not going to take that. Yep. If anyone was interested in joining uh, Taros, my Tarot School, please let me know in the comments. Um, this is like the last week or the last day you can join, because I got to close it out. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Ah, Seven of Cups. So if you want to join tarot school, guys, um, I'm just double checking it's still on my link tree, y'all. Hold on one second. Yep. Okay. Uh, so if you guys want to join tarot school, um, please uh, shoot me an email. Uh, actually, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where's my... Let me know in the comments, guys, who's interested in joining Tarot School. Just really quick. But anyway, um, we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. <coughs> hey, stop. Stop it. Sorry, guys. Because today literally is the last day. Like, literally the last day. Um, and then four of pentacles. Two of swords. A di like I said, a difficult choice. Um, all right. Hold on. Um, wow, a lot of you are interested in joining tarot school. Holy crap. All right. I'm just checking on uh, tarot school on my website, guys. So bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. Okay, perfect. Um, so if you guys go to the link in my TikTok bio, um, you'll see tarot school registration open. That's the link you're going to click. So go to my profile page on TikTok. The link below my profile picture. Okay, that's my link tree. Once you go there, scroll down a little bit, you'll see Tarot School registration open. That's how you join Tarot School. Um, I suggest you do it now. You'll still be able to hear me while I'm reading, um, but so you don't forget. But today is the last day. So if you want to come into Tarot School, like today is the day. Anyway, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, 
and the Four of Pentacles. And then the Two of Swords. What does the Two of Swords represent? A stalemate. Okay, stuck. Okay, being at a crossroads. Confused. Um, yeah, the dogs are barking. Um, there's so much pentacle energy here. Oh, lots of noise. Oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm playing a solar plexus tone right now. I'm playing a solar plexus tone right now. Um, do you guys still hear the noise now? Oh, it's when I it's when I hit the table. Yeah, it's when I hit the table, you guys. I'll try not to do that. Um, anyway. There's a rattling. Hold on. I don't know what you guys are hearing, but hopefully this works. All right. I put you guys on my tripod. Hold on. No, there's no phone alert. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I put you guys on my tripod. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. All right, so... We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and then the Four of Pentacles. It's really interesting. I feel like you guys have a lot of fear around um, establishing yourself financially on your own. Like maybe you left a, a, a job where it there was like a lot of job security, you were making good money, seven of cups, like make it, or you're thinking about it, like a decision. Is, is the move I want to make financially viable? Is the move I want to make financially viable? Can I create financial stability on my own? Um, also, can I let go of past belief systems from my family that I'm holding on to very tightly. There's something about maybe religion or spiritual beliefs from the family, but you don't feel aligned with them anymore. That's why it's a difficult choice because it's been a part of you for so long. All right. But I, the thing is beloved, if you make this decision, seven of cups, You can create your own stability. It's like confirmation. But the thing is, the reason you guys are feeling stalemate or stagnant energy is because you're not making a move. Okay, the, A move needs to be made. You need to release the old completely. This, to me, would be clinging on to old belief systems still. Like, okay, like maybe here at Seven of Cups, maybe like I can like hold on to this belief system and this part of what I used to believe. And then I can have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of the past, a little bit of the now, a little bit of the past, a little bit of the now. No, it is all the now. Yes. Fully letting go, relinquishing control, embracing the new, even though you don't completely understand it yet, but you still feel called toward it. Just because you don't fully understand something doesn't mean um, you're not being called toward it. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Holy crap. Uh, guys, hold on one second. I'm going to put my puppy in his crate. Hold on one second. All right. That way they won't fight. <laughs> that way they won't fight. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad it's spot on. Yeah, let me know what's resonating for you guys in the comments. Um, anyway, Page of Cups came out in the reverse with the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this for today, you guys, 
This is giving me inner child. Who here, who here, let me know in the comments, who here feels that there is inner child trauma that is affecting your confidence, um, the way you perceive yourself and see yourself as ugly versus beautiful, um, your self-worth. Let me know in the comments. Are you? Uh, do you guys experience or are you trying to heal inner child wounds that are affecting your confidence, the way you view your body, the way you view your, yourself as a person, um, your light? I feel like a lot of you do not see... Ugh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I might cry a little. Hold on. I might cry a little. Mm. <sighs> okay. This is something I don't normally do. This is something I don't nor normally do, you guys, but I need you to sit with me for a second. I need you guys to sit with me for a second, okay? And if you feel called, put your hands on your heart. <sighs> yeah, my mom's a narcissist too. I do not talk to my mom. I do not. She's very toxic. She's blocked on my phone. It's just not a thing to talk to her. Anyway, so sit with me, you guys, and put your hands on your heart space if you feel called to do it, okay? And just breathe with me for a little. Just let yourself breathe a little. I'm doing this for a reason. Because what I'm doing is sharing with you the love that I have for you guys. The love that you deserve to feel. So I'm channeling God's source energy and sharing it with you guys through the heart space, okay? So let me know if you feel the chills, because I feel chills in my face, in my head, in my back, in my heart. Just let yourself feel this energy. Do you guys feel the energy, feel the healing, feel the connection? Because this, you guys, this is, oh, this is the peace that you deserve to feel every day. This is the peace you deserve to feel every single moment of every single day. Knowing that you are so loved, that you are protected, that even when things feel like they are going wrong, they are still going right. Even when it feels like things are going wrong, things are still going right. And you can feel this energy wherever it's meant to be in your body, okay? Some of you may feel it in your gut um, because it's inner child, which is solar plexus. You may feel it in your entire body. You may feel it in your heart space. It doesn't matter. There's no right way to feel this, okay? Let's take one more deep breath together, okay? One more deep breath. And just let it out. Just let all that heaviness go, you guys. Let it be replaced with that lightness, that peace, that tranquility that you did not receive in childhood, okay? Okay? You are able to give that to yourself and we are able to share it together. We are able to share it together. Okay. But let me know how you guys feel right now. Do you guys feel a little bit better? Let me know how you guys feel. Do you feel a little bit better? Tell me, tell me, tell me in the comments. Do you feel a little better? Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good, 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 good. So I asked you guys this yesterday, but now you got to feel the energy. 
Would you guys be interested again in a live inner child healing session? A virtual live inner child healing session. That was just a little taste of what the healing would feel like. Would you guys be interested in an extended session? So it would be like a full hour. It would be a full hour of that healing. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, great. So for the full, for a full hour session, I talked about this yesterday, but uh, the session would be hosted on a weekend. Okay. So everyone can make it. If you can't make the session, it's okay. It's recorded. So you can catch the replay whenever you want. What's great about my sessions to you guys is that you can reuse them. Okay. So if you feel like you want to continue your inner child healing on your own, you can reuse the session. Okay. Um, so that session, the full hour, which is virtual, um, is the energy exchange is $55 and 55 cents. Um, and again, you get to keep the session so you can reuse it. So it's not just a one-time thing. Um, all you have to do is send that to my cash app or my PayPal. The link is in my TikTok bio, and then just put your email address. Okay. Um, a, a lot of you really, I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. So I would suggest that if you guys are interested in investing in your healing, the session's only $55.55 for a full hour, okay? The link is in my TikTok bio for Cash App or PayPal. Um, and if you need Venmo, please comment Venmo, okay? But let me know who's going who's gonna to sign up for the session. Let me know who's going to sign up. I would really love to know um, to be able to support you guys in your healing.